Let me take a look at the wind gust potential. 65 miles per hour is the radar scans that we're getting. And again, that's elevated. That's a little higher in the atmosphere that we're seeing those winds. In fact, it's right around uh, 433 feet off the ground. But sometimes in those downdrafts and these strong thunderstorms, they can actually bring those strong 65 mile an hour winds to the surface. And that's the concern with a storm that's moving out of Zebulon and Windell right now. It's headed for Bailey, Middlesex, Spring Hope. If it holds together, this storm is on the trajectory to move toward Rocky Mount. So as it moves into that environment, we are going to need to keep an eye on the potential for it to begin to rotate just because it's areas north and east of the triangle that really have a lot of that wind shear ingredient that's needed for storms to begin to rotate. So let's put a storm track on this storm. It's moving to the northeast at about 35 miles per hour. Again, this is a severe thunderstorm warning. It is not a tornado warning, but it's moving it into an environment where it could begin to rotate. And that's why I really want to go ahead and put a storm track on it and give you an early heads up, especially because much of our area is under a tornado watch this afternoon. Southside Park, we expect the storm to arrive right around 4.08 p.m. The Nashville community, 4.09. That's just over 10 minutes from now. Cliftonville, 4.05. 15 and Rocky Mount just after 420 PM. So you've got uh, just about 25 minutes in Rocky Mount until this intense thunderstorm arrives. And we're going to keep a close eye on it as it moves a bit closer to you and moves into an environment that's more ripe for some rotation. I want to remind folks the difference between a watch and a warning. So we are under a tornado watch right now. If you live in Raleigh, Wake County, this extends up into Southern Virginia. Fayetteville's included in the watch. Harnett County, Hoke County, all points east. So Rocky Mount Wilson, Goldsboro as well. This is until 11 o'clock and a tornado watch means that conditions are favorable. The atmosphere is set up in a way that we could see a tornado develop. When a warning is issued, that's when you need to take action. That means that we've got severe weather already occurring, and that's what we are seeing right now in, in Halifax County where we've got the tornado warning in effect. And I also want to kind of zoom in on our tornado risk today. The low end threat of a tornado is west of Raleigh. It's as you get east of Raleigh that we have a better chance of an isolated tornado. And when I've really uh, dug into all of the severe weather ingredients that we have in place today on the new model data, it's north and east of the triangle. So if you live in Wilson County, Edgecombe County, Nash County, Franklin County, Warren, Halifax, and Northampton counties. Those are the counties that I'm most concerned for a for a, uh, a rotating cell to develop. If you are just joining us on WRAL News this afternoon, I am meteorologist Kat Campbell tracking severe weather moving through our area on this. WRAL weather alert day two days ago to give you some advance notice that we could see severe weather and that's what we are seeing right now. It's not just the tornado threat, but we're also seeing some really strong winds move through the area that are looking pretty dangerous as I look inside the thunderstorm. So let's zoom in on our active warnings that we have across the area right now, and I am going to pause the radar so you can get a better look at where we have the strongest part of these storms. Let's begin with the tornado warning. There is a tornado warning only one in effect in our viewing area and the tornado warning is in Halifax County right now. The rotation is starting to edge out of the infield community. I want to get a closer look at this inside the thunderstorm and how it's set up. So we do still have rotation showing up. This is on the east side of town right over 301 in infield. However, the latest scans show it's maybe not as intense as it once was. So I'm going to go back in time a little bit and you can see the red and the green. It flares up from time to time, but it's passing right over 301. So if you live in the infield community and uh, in between infield and Halifax, especially in Halifax County, you need to be seeking shelter, getting to the lowest level of your home, the most interior room. Let's put a storm track on the storm. I want to mention I'm going to draw the storm track from where the rotating part of the storm is, not necessarily when the rain begins where you live, but when the uh, the rotating part of the storm would pass by. So what could be a tornado if one develops? We're going to add some more cities to the storm track and we are also going to extend it so I can give you an hour's notice. We're going to go 60 minutes out on the storm track to give you advance.
One, two, three. At the storm track, Crowell's Crossroad right around 413, so 12 minutes from now, the rotation should arrive. Tillery, 425, you've got about 25 minutes to seek shelter. Go ahead, gather your pets, make sure you get your kids. You can grab a bike helmet if they have one and bring that with you into your basement or your closet, the most interior room in your house. Put as many walls between you and the outside as you can if you're on the storm track list. Spring Hill right around 430 is when the rotation should arrive. Boone's Crossroads 443, Bryantown 447 and Rich Square 458 if we see this storm hold together. So that goes out about an hour from now on our storm track here. And I do also want to uh, zoom in on this new radar scan that we just got in. And let's go ahead and put some numbers on this so you can get an idea of how strong the winds are. So we've got about 40 mile an hour winds moving away from the radar right now and about 20 mile an hour winds uh, moving toward the radar. So when you combine that, you've got about 60 mile an hour winds rotating and that's our concern. That's why we're concerned about uh, a tornado potentially developing. At this point, we don't have any ground truth from the National Weather Service. I did just get an update from them that I'm reading right now, but we are watching each scan very closely to see if we see any debris show up perhaps. And then I also just got an update. I wanna move to the other severe thunderstorm warning that we're watching. So we've got the tornado warning and the severe thunderstorm warning right now in Halifax County. I want to zoom in on this severe thunderstorm warning. We're going to put the lightning on it really quick. A lot of lightning showing up. Sometimes that can tell us whether or not a storm is ramping up. But the new update that just came out from the National Weather Service with this cell that's moving into Nash County right now shows the potential for even stronger winds and even larger hail. So this is a big update for folks that are in Nash County. There is the threat of 70 mile an hour winds. Remember just about five to 10 minutes ago, if you were with us here on WRAL, I was showing you the radar scans that were showing 65 mile an hour winds and then also that hail potential. So on the hail potential that we're seeing right now, it would probably be closer to an inch or less given the latest radar scan. Uh, we can, yeah, one inch hail showing up on the radar. I'm going to clear the lightning off so it's not quite as cluttered. But the hail looks like it is just on the north side of town in Middlesex right now and just on the west side of town in Middlesex. Let's also talk about the winds, not just the hail, but the winds uh, were looking pretty rough in the storm when we were looking just a short time ago. Let me go ahead and check in on the wind speeds out on the leading edge here. So we've got about 45 mile an hour winds there. I would say closer to 50 on these radar scans, but you know, just a few minutes ago, we had stronger winds showing up. Let's take a look at Rocky Mount Mills. You can see it there on your screen. I put a storm track on the storm cell uh, just a short time ago and mentioned it's about 422 PM that we would expect this severe storm to arrive in Rocky Mount. Rocky Mount is not currently included in the severe thunderstorm warning. However, this is a very strong storm that's tracking your direction. I want to give you ample time to prepare if you live in Rocky Mount, especially because as these storms continue to move to the north and east and move away from the triangle, they're moving into an environment where we've got a bit more energy. We've got a bit more wind shear. Those are the ingredients that you need for these supercell storms to develop and strengthen. And that's one of the concerns is that we could eventually begin to see a bit more rotation in this cell. I'm still not seeing any alarming rotation in this storm in Nash County right now, which is great news. However, 70 mile an hour wind potential is no joke. You really need to be getting indoors if you can. It's going to be a really rough drive on Highway 64 in Nash County. You've got some strong winds and it's about to get pretty rough right along I-95 for folks that are traveling. It is a very busy holiday travel day and the downpours, 70 mile an hour winds and the potential for some small hail. It's not going to make for a fun drive. So if you are able Able to if you're in Rocky Mount, maybe traveling along I-95, you could be listening to us on Mix 101.5. I would try to pull over, wait this out for a little while. It's not a tornado warning in Nash County, but it is a really rough, severe thunderstorm warning that you were dealing with. All right, we're getting in some new information from the National Weather Service. I'm keeping an eye on this new information that comes in. Uh, we're hearing from emergency management in Halifax County that they have very strong winds, very poor visibility in the area of rotation north of infield, but they haven't received any damage reports just yet. 
uh, this is from somebody who's in the exact location of the storm. So we thank you to Halifax County Emergency Management for communicating that with us. So they're saying they don't have any damage reports yet. However, the storm is certainly still packing a punch. And given that it's in the northeastern part of our viewing area, I really prefer to look at this through a radar in Virginia. That gives us a little bit better view of the storm. And the new scan that I'm seeing is a little bit weaker in the rotation. So let's go back in time just a little bit here. Uh, we're going to go back in time about 30 minutes since this warning was issued right around 345. So you can see how bright the reds and the greens were as it approached the infield community. Over time, we've seen it kind of flare back up right over Highway 301 and then die down a little bit as it continues to move to the northeast. However, there is still rotation in this storm. The tornado warning for Halifax County will go until 430 PM. We just had a new polygon pop on uh, here on the radar. Let's switch over to the dual Doppler 5000 radar right now. I want to mention this uh, Rocky Mount. You are now under a severe thunderstorm warning. This will go until 445. We were just talking about folks in Rocky Mount. This is a pretty intense thunderstorm that's headed your way. The new severe thunderstorm warning continues to show the potential for 70 mile an hour winds and folks. That's significant because typically a severe thunderstorm warning is issued when winds could gust up to 60 miles per hour. So this is a tear up. This is worse than your typical severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service is saying 70 mile an hour winds possible as this storm tracks toward Red Oak, Rocky Mount, some very populated areas right along I-95 on a very busy holiday travel day. The severe thunderstorm warning also includes the potential for some one inch diameter hail. So that's about the size of a quarter, the coin a quarter. So just a heads up, it's hail, it's strong winds. It's going to be a pretty rough drive along I-95 in Nash County. There's not rotation in the storm, and I do want to confirm that with you. I'll look inside the storm with you on air. I'm not seeing any green show up. It is all red there. This is looking uh, even more inside the storm, so still no rotation in that storm, which is good news. However, 70 mile an hour winds are still pretty rough. So the severe thunderstorm warning that was just issued goes until 445. This storm is moving to the northeast at about 35 miles per hour. I do want to put a storm track on this for you since we just got this information in. It's a pretty rough looking uh, severe thunderstorm warning. And we're going to add some more towns to this as well. All right. So Langley Crossroads, the storm is overhead right now. Dorches, 413, you've got about four minutes from now. Eastenburg, five minutes from now. Winstead Crossroads, 415. Cliftonville, 415, so again, about 15 minutes from now. The Windmere Mobile Home Community, 416. Ashbrook, 417. Uh, Gold Rock, 419. And I'm going to get an updated time for you folks in Rocky Mount. Last we checked, it was right around 422. The storm slowed down a little bit, so it's 425, but still pretty close in terms of the timing there. Let's clear this off. And with the threat of 70 mile an hour winds, I am also concerned about the threat of power outages. So I want to mention this. Go ahead and charge your devices, folks. The severe storms aren't just in North Carolina from this system. We've seen severe weather from the same front through parts of Georgia, South Carolina, Alabama, Kentucky, as well as Tennessee. And when you look at how many power outages there have been from this storm system, it's a lot across the eastern half of the country. Kentucky, of course, had the tornadoes touchdown, and that's why their number is so high in Kentucky. They're in the red with more than 50,000 people without power. But we are starting to see a few power outages show up in North Carolina. So let me go into the county by county map and see where those power outages are starting to pop up right now. With 70 mile an hour winds, I'm thinking that these numbers are certainly going to go up. So we do have some power outages that are being reported now in Wake County as well as Johnston County and Wake County and Johnston County. You had that storm pass through between Wendell and Clayton when it first started popping up and it first started developing. So I'm not surprised that you did see some power outages result from this storm. Let's zoom back in on the tornado warning. This is uh, the worst that we are seeing on the radar right now. The tornado warning is in effect for Halifax County until 430 PM. So you've got 20 minutes left to go within this tornado warning. If you live in Halifax County, I do have some good news for you. If you live in infield, 
the worst of this storm has passed. So you can come out of your safe place. The rotation has moved east of you now. Things are looking good. You can come out of your uh, basement, your interior room, your closet. It's looking better. If you have any reports of damage, please share those with us. You can go to WRL.com and search weather watchers. That way we can relay any damage reports to the National Weather Service and they could go out for a potential storm survey. But at this point, the rotation has weakened quite a bit in Halifax County, so I'm going to keep an eye on it for you. In the meantime, I'm going to send it back to Dan and Lena with more on what we've already seen earlier in the day as well. Yeah, that's right, Kat. Thank you so much. Uh, of course, this is an extremely busy day for a lot of people and I know a lot of you at home are wondering some of the details especially when it comes to what's happening with your loved ones in certain areas travel a lot of folks looking to get on the roads hit the airports we have uh, reporters and research happening on all of those fronts and I wanted to speak specifically to what Kat was just talking about power outages I checked with Duke Energy right now in North Carolina there are more than 4,000 customers without power Johnston County right now making up a big portion of that nearly a thousand customers in Johnston County and of course as we look live in Rocky Mount Mills, you see how just ominous the clouds look here. Kat talking about the potential for 70 mile per hour wind. So we certainly expect for power outages to ramp up in Nash County as well. A tornado warning is always going to get our attention. We're going to break into coverage like we have today. Um, it, we haven't seen any rotation. Cat hasn't noticed any rotation yet, which is really good news. But of course, when you're talking about 70 mile per hour winds, that's going to be enough to cause some damage, especially when you pair that with the hail that could be an inch in diameter, so quarter size hail as a threat as well. Uh, that's something we're paying close attention. Right, and just to recap, Wake County is under that severe thunderstorm warning as well as a number of counties in our area, Johnston County included. WRAL's Destiny Patterson has been going from location to location, monitoring scenes for us, the conditions out on the road. She's joining us now live in Wake County in Fuquay, Verena. Destiny, tell us what you've seen. Well, Lena, like you mentioned, lots of downed trees here throughout the area. If you actually take a look here, you can see this stump here in this front yard. That tree actually spanned across this road here. And you can see Christine Farrell and her boyfriend here working to finish cleaning up the debris here. I want to make it clear, these are people who live in the area and just want to make sure that their community is in good shape. This is her own gear that she's using to finish clearing up this debris here. She says that the tree fell about 11 o'clock last night and Duke Energy crews were able to come in and restore power after it fell on a power line and clear it from this road here. But she said that she's really making a concerted effort to get this debris cleared before any potential additional storms here tonight. Knock on wood, <laughs> literally. Um, I, I don't know how none of our, our trees have fallen. Um, so if anything, yeah, just get this hazard out of the way before another one comes. But um, I didn't think it'd be this bad, um, but it was real windy. So at the beginning of the shot, I showed you this stump here. Even further on the property, there's another stump. Farrell says that another storm brought that tree down, and she helped clear that one as well. So going into tonight, she says that she's hoping that they're not as badly hit tonight as they were yesterday. Mm. Lena, Dan. Oh. What a mess. I know walking around my neighborhood in Raleigh, there was this massive tree that had come down. Destiny, thank you. Fortunately, it went down in the other direction, not right. toward the homes, uh, toward the, the woods. But still, thinking about how saturated the grounds already are, and we're dealing with another round of severe weather. Yeah, and our meteorologists saw this coming. Of course, uh, we knew today was going to be a WRAL weather alert day, the possibility for severe storms. We've seen the storms kind of tearing across the country, uh, causing a lot of havoc. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been just terrible for so many communities and here we are uh, hoping to uh, get through tonight with maybe some some minimal damage meteorologist Kat Campbell continuing to track this weather as it moves uh, through these communities Kat. and we have some new severe thunderstorm warnings to tell you about the good news is that they are severe thunderstorm warnings and we don't have any new tornado warnings to tell you about however we are still concerned with these we're talking the potential for 70 mile an hour wind gusts so that's an exceptionally strong severe thunderstorm warning that we're watching and that severe storms headed right for Rocky Mount so we're 
Rocky Mount, you are included in the severe thunderstorm warning capable of producing 70 mile an hour winds and the severe thunderstorm warning in Rocky Mount goes until uh, until about 445. I am just getting new information. We have a new tornado warning in from the National Weather Service. This one is for parts of Edgecombe County as well as Halifax County. So this is a continuation of the previous tornado warning. This is in effect until five o'clock. I had mentioned right when we came on the air with you about 45 minutes ago that I was concerned with uh, potentially, you know, Scotland Neck down the road seeing this storm arrive. And essentially what the National Weather Service has done is extended the tornado warning now including Scotland Neck and a small sliver of Edgecombe County. This is north of Tarboro and north of Rocky Mount. So Tarboro, Rocky Mount, you are not included in the new tornado warning. We have a lot of warnings here on the map. So what I want to do is actually clear it up just a little bit so you can see a little bit better. All the yellow, that's severe thunderstorm warnings and all of the red, those are tornado warnings. So let's go ahead and clear off the severe thunderstorm warnings for just a minute so you can get a better view of the tornado warning. The tornado warning is in effect until 5 p.m. So we've got about 45 minutes to go with this tornado warning and we're concerned with Scotland Neck. You're right in the path of where the storm is going to be headed. A heads up there. We now have the rotation that's crossed east of I-95 and east of Highway 301, which is good news given that those are heavily trafficked areas. This storm that's capable of producing a tornado is moving to the east at about 20 miles per hour. So let's take a look here at the storm track on this. And again, I'm doing the storm track from where the rotation is and not necessarily where when the rain will begin where you live. So it's moving to the east at about